I'm Grumpy No Friends and welcome back to my Geek Stuff channel. If it's the first time you've been to the channel, thank you for joining and I hope you can find something that will help you out. So today I'm going to show you how to fix and also corrupt a USB stick or an SD card. So let's get to it. So first of all, we want to go into a command prompt with admin. So if you go down to your start menu and you click right click, you've got command prompt with admin. Now, if you don't see this, you go into settings, go to personalization, go to taskbar and here, where it says replace command prompt with PowerShell. So if you have PowerShell, if we just slide it and we just right click on here, Windows PowerShell. So if you see this, you just need to come into here and then turn it off. And now we're back to the command prompt. And then just go back in once you're done to turn it, turn the feature back on. So if you wanna go command prompt with admin. So once we've opened up here, we type in the word disk part. This is a built in disk partitioning tool for Windows. We do this all in one word. The information is, and then when it get, when it, as soon as it's done, you'll see the word disk part. Now what we type in is list disk, and then it'll list the disks. Remember to do the space between there, otherwise I'll show you what happens if you don't. So if you do a list disk without the space, you're going to get all the other kind of options that are available. If you go list disk with the space, it'll show you what disks or, or how drives you've got in your system. I'm using a virtual machine to record this. So mine's shown as 60 gigabytes of my virtual machine in disk zero and my USB stick is in disk one. All we do now is we have to select the disk we want to be using. Select disk and then one now the disk is selected now to confirm 100 percent we're on the correct disk we can type in detail disk this will give us more information about the disk that we're looking at so for me it's a NETAC only disk usb device so i know it's my usb device and as you can see here from status it's unusable that's what the system sees it as unusable it can't do anything with it okay so what we do now and this step is important if you have any data on that disk that you want to keep do not go any further use a recovery software to try and see if you can recover it because once you format this disk you are not going to get that data back i've tried multiple forensics tools and recovery software and none of them be able to recover a simple just an empty folder with a simple text document in it so what the way we clear and clean the disk completely is simply by typing the word clean it's going to take a few seconds for it to wipe the disk and then you'll get a prompt showing that the disk has been cleaned disk part succeeded in cleaning this disk so now it's all been completely cleaned and completely zeroed now what we have to do we have to recreate a partition on the drive we do this by saying create partition primary to make it the primary partition so the partition is now successfully being created now that we've created the partition we have to format the disk what you need to know is if it's under 16 gigabytes you have to format it as fat 32 if it's over 16 gigabytes you have to format it as ex fat this is the same thing you'd use if you're using a mac that's the file format that it understands you can in windows as well um, format it as ntfs but it depends on what device you're going to be plugging into. So like if I had my security cameras, it has to be XFAT. It doesn't understand the NTFS, just for example. So the way we do that is we type in the word format. FS for file system equals 
for me, X fat. And then this is an imperative part, put quick. If you don't type quick, then it's going to take a long time to to format the system. This does a quick wipe, put zeros for everything, and then the disk is just instantly formatted. So you can see how quick that was done. So this part successfully formatted the volume. So now if I go to detail disk again, you can see the status is now healthy. We can now exit out of the command prompts simply by pressing the X button in the corner or you'd have to type exit twice. So if I go back into this PC, here we see I can then create files and use the USB stick um, as normal. If we wanted to corrupt a USB disk, we do the first part of the video. So go into command prompt, type in disk uh, list disk select disk and the disk number which is one and then all we do is just simply type the word clean so now when we try and look at the USB stick it doesn't recognize that there's a disk there even though we can clearly see it's here it just won't allow us to use it now why would we want to do this I've heard on a Reddit stories and some guides that people have done it where they've bought a USB stick and it was sold as supposed to be in super fast and all this stuff and it would turn out to be a piece of garbage and they wouldn't get their money back unless it was shown as being corrupt or defective. So they've gone in there, they've done to the clean part, corrupted their USB stick, sent it back. The people who they sent it back to confirm that it's defective and they sent them a, a replacement disc or they gave them their money back. That's one way to do it. Others, if you have malicious intent or you wanted to simply erase everything off your off your disc, you know, it really quick, that's the other way to do it. I'm Grumpy No Friends. If you found us helpful, please check out my channel, GNF Geek Stuff, and consider liking and subscribing.